Okay guys, good morning. I'm just gonna light myself up here using my cell phone camera or my cell phone light because I forgot my light at home um, for the GoPro. Um, otherwise you guys are not going to see me look at that pitch dark. It's still early morning. Um, water doesn't look too bad a little bit later on during the video i'm going to talk a little bit about the, the conditions that we have but for now i'm going to make a chocolate bait i'm going to throw it for a cob and then a little bit later on we're going to fish for some bigger fish like sharks um front whalers uh, yeah it's really uncomfortable my arm is getting tired <laughs> holding the phone up in the air like this anyway guys you can see new color hoodie guys would really appreciate if you guys would support the channel by buying some merchandise um, I do not sell my merchandise directly anymore. What I've done is I gave all my stock to Still Fishing and they are handling it and it's for sale on the online shop. So guys, it makes it a lot easier to get your hands on some Zulu Fishing merchandise. There's caps, there's buffs, there's a whole variety of, um, of hoodies. There's also splash jackets available. They really lack it. They keep you warm, keep the wind out and they dry really quickly. So yeah guys, visit www.stillfishing.com That's where I buy all my tackle and fishing gear So you guys are welcome to buy from there as well I'll put the link down in the video description as well So yeah, also check out my Instagram account Zander Absolute Fishing And then I created a TikTok account Not to dance and all sorts of stuff Just one or two bait presentations every now and Little fun fishing videos, quick clips um, Go and check it out, it's just Zulu Fishing on TikTok I don't post very often But um, every now and then I do create a little video there Anyway, let me make this bait because my idea was to film me making the bait and then talking to you guys But I can't do that because my hand is tied up to the phone So I'm going to put this down, make a little chocolate bait, throw it on that bank at the back That's working there really nice and hopefully a cop comes along and eats it Lacquer so Just a little chocker mouse bait we'll Clip our sink it in For the guys that don't know, there's a line attached to my, to my sinker and it goes all the way up to a swivel right there so once it hits the water it detaches and um, the fish can eat my bait so if you want to see how I made this bait go and have a look there on my TikTok there's a little bait presentation there and uh, yeah, you can check how I do it for a cob um, you can catch any size cob from a three kilo fish all the way to a 40 40 50 kilo fish easily catch a hundred pound in here looks really like a little bit of color in the water bank is rolling oh, stunning the bank is not too shallow not too deep it's just deep enough to make night to to create a nice rolling water coming in uh, it has to come through there. I have some pickers now. But, uh, time for the cock to eat now. Early morning. You need to move your bait every now and then just to create a little bit of tension towards your bait. And often when you shake your bait, you'll feel shortly after that you'll get a bite. Sometimes even while you're shaking your bait, you'll just feel the fish, fish eat your bait and it just pulls you right flat. So it's always good to, to move your bait a little bit. Just just gentle shakes, not to trip your wires, but just to create a little bit of action and to move your bait a little bit. Shark. It's a little helm shark. Always a bycatch when you're fishing for cod. Uh, they feed in similar formation. And uh, no, just throw this one back. Okay, the bronzy rod is out. Make another chocker bait. And throw it. I'm going to make a short throw this time. I'm not going to clip my bait. 
and um, there's a little bit of pickers in the water. I'm not even going to beat my squid with thinner is it? It's just going to make a long thin bait with some feelers. Maybe spend a little bit more time in the water before the pickers take my bait off. Just checking that I can see it. Hopefully a cob will find it before the pickers does or the arm shot. Not the best looking cob bait I've ever made. But I will create a little traction, a lot of movement. Hopefully a cob will eat it. Quiet. Conditions look really good. The water looks really nice. Everything looks lacquer. I haven't had a bike yet. A proper bike. A small hound shot. Cool and wet from that way. Lacquer on. <laughs> Much better. What are the plans under? I don't know what the plan is. I really don't know what to throw. I'm just going to stick it out and hopefully the persistency will pay off and we'll catch something. Or still had an inquiry. I called it now than 5 o'clock this morning. Woo. Jacket helps a lot. Catch a fish down there. Okay guys, so Murphy's Law got us properly today. As you can see, Stefan joined me, and um, yeah, the fishing hasn't been too great lately. And yeah, we tried to to fish for a decent sized fish. We actually fished for a cob on the bank there at the first spot that we fished. Um, just got back to the bucky. Um, yeah, not too happy with what we did, but we're really happy with what happened next to the water. So we were fishing, and uh, so we were fishing. Nothing happened. Stefan got a small um, baby bronzy prachtig hoor huh? prachtig hoor I can do the sand dog and then I got a you know that little sand shark thing when I went to wash my hands you can find us on there. Yes. What? Tell us who you What bite was used? Are you going to release it? Why so Zander? How was it? I only washed my hands. That's all. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, I know we were just getting despondent. We were thinking about heading home, and um, then we thought to ourselves, well. Nationals is near, um, let's move a little bit closer to the mouth and then go and scratch a little bit for um, sand sharks or maybe we're lucky we'll get a cob, some blu-rays and you know, just you know get into the spirits of the nationals, get a little, little bit of practice in and um, yeah so we packed our stuff, headed closer to the mouth, told Stefan I'm not going to take the cameras with us because we're going to fish for lesser sand sharks and you know, we're just going to scratch around and um, what's the chances of catching a big fish. So over the dune we went and um, it looked really stunning. Conditions were really good. Um, water was maybe a little bit too warm, but we both took our um, scratching setups, which is the Ryzen um, HXL lacquer setup. I'm going to talk about it, a little bit about it next to the beach. Um, you guys can stick around and then listen to the setup and the trace and everything that we used. Um, by the way, the cameras is in the bucky, we got there. Um, the sandies were a little bit slow, but anyway, we had a double hook trace, fishing for sandies, dedicated sandies. And then we started to working the back bank with a chocker bait on the top hook, and then a moussey, schmally, sardine bait at the bottom hook, um, targeting, targeting the lesser sand sharks. Um, I think we each got one, or Stefan got one lesser. And um, you know, then just all of a sudden, I got floored flat and I instantly knew it was a cob. And um, yeah, no cameras with us. I landed a decent sized cob 
of 103 centimeters, um, really good condition fish, must be close to, I don't know, 10 kilos, 10.5. 10 um, I haven't checked on the weight conversion um, table, but it's definitely a 10 kilo fish. We quickly took a video of with the cell phone of how we released it, took a photo or two, and um, at least we have that little evidence to show it to you guys. And then as luck would have it, shortly after that, um, I was still putting a bait on and I just see Stefan, same thing, got absolutely smoked and I just knew and I think he knew immediately what it was and he just showed me this and this means cob, 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 cob. <laughs> I think they're behind the camera laughing at me. I ran down, quickly going to assist him. Once again, he didn't have any camera and he landed a beautiful cob as well. Also 103 uh, centimeters, similar size fish. He took one or two photos, quickly his video with the cell phone and the send it all back over. Um, great to see fish like this in the area. So definitely, we are definitely going to target them a little bit more in the, the coming weeks. We haven't been targeting them because the water was slightly cold and it was just bronzes all over the place and that was basically all that everyone caught was bronzes and uh, ragged tube shark here and there. Yeah, looking forward to catch another silver slab so hopefully next week we will show you a nice big one uh, or maybe two or three. Sure we're going to target them a little bit more. The water has warmed up quite substantially so the cork is definitely in the area. I think I reckon we if we fished a little bit into the dark um, and if we had life bait actually actively targeting the cob we would have you know, we would have caught a, a lot more. So we're gonna jump over to, to the water and we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys quickly the trace that we used and the formation that we fished. Okay so I just want to show the water that we are fishing and then the structure that we are looking for. So you'll see there's a flat sandbank going out here. Um, zoom now and then there is a sandbank and there at the back you can just zoom in there's another sandbank right there you'll see there's a little gutter coming through that bluish water that's a gutter and then there's another sandbank you see there's deeper sections on the bank like there and there and that's what we're looking for so we're working it working those areas for the sand shorts and um, we found the cob on those little banks of the one cob the one cob there and then the other one was on that bank right there just crumbling really nice now so we've got two banks first the first sloping one then a little gutter onto a bank right there and then we cast into that back white water and that's where the cob are feeding just want to show you guys this there's a lesser on the bottom hook and then <laughs> there's a monster cob on the second hook on the top hook <laughs> look at that tiny little thing get that circle look out and then we can put him back. <laughs> oh look, okay, let's release them. Two hooks, double up. Okay guys, like an idiot, we left the cameras in the bucket, like I, like I told you guys. So I just want to do a quick rundown on the tackle and the trace and the gear that we used, just to give you guys some insights on how we targeted, you know, how we approached, what we were doing. So, firstly, we're gonna use like a medium, a medium heavy setup. Uh, Stefan, 
and myself we were both using the Ryzen HXL, it's a perfect rod for, for this type of fishing. Um, it's soft enough to target the carp, to target the smaller fish and it can handle the really big fish as well and with its casting abilities that it has, it allows you to get onto those back banks that you want, especially with the trays that we're using now. Because we're using two hooks and it's a double hook trays and um, they're not easy, almost off the bait box, <laughs> they're not easy to cast. But um, so just to explain to you guys what we're using, we've got a 30, uh, 10 thousand twin power, 14 thousand spool, 30 pound braid, then a 100 pound leader, and then a quick release clip on my leader as per normal, and then our tray starts. There's a short piece of mono above my swivel, that is just for my quick release and my braid leader not to tangle with my trace, it just, um, just keeps everything straight. You can see my hook snoot already twisted a little bit. So on the top hook we are fishing a small chocker bait, long strip of squid that I've cut into little tentacles. Um, just to create a little action, you can use a whole variety of baits here, you can go with a blob bait. Just any small bait that you would cut, 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 any small bait that you prefer to catch a cob on or to scratch with. But anyway, to get back to the trace, then we have a swivel there um, on the top, and then about a 40 centimeter, 35 to 40 centimeter hook snoot, and then another piece of mono attached to that. You'll see and that is fairly long, that is about 1.2 meters. Um, the piece that I use in between is. is range between the 0.80 or 0.90 mono and my hook snoots are my hook snoots range from 0.65 to 0.7075 all depends on the conditions and then on that we attach this is a 6 ounce cone sinker for today's conditions the cone sinker worked perfectly so there's a cone sinker sliding on that and um, then you have a swivel with a beam Tangle speed just moved there. A swivel with a bead and then a short hook tray, hook snoot on the bottom. So the idea with the trace is to target, especially with your bottom hook, is to target anything like a sand shark or a blue ray and, um, and you create a lot of smell with a big smelly but with a bloody smelly bait like this. And then on the top hook, just full of sand now, you use a chocker bait or a squid bait. With that you can catch the lesser as well, you'll catch a ducky, a smaller ducky, you'll catch a cob like we have done just now. And um, yeah, that's just your general scratching trace in the surf. And um, you don't have to use a cone. Often we use wheat, wheat eater sinkers and we cut the, the wheat eaters a little bit shorter. We use normal grapnel wire sinkers as well. It all just depends on how strong the sea is and how the current is. But with this trace, a cone sinker would be ideal because you, then you can move your bait and you cover quite a lot of water. There wasn't any current in the water today, so the cone sinker worked perfectly. And you want your trace to be short, that's why there's no trace, uh, sinker trace on. That's why there's no sinker trace, so we clip it directly onto a quick release clip. And um, yeah, that's the setup. But when you use a grab roll, you can make your sinker trace a little bit longer and you can put your bait in as well. It's not necessary in this instance. And then yeah, a short as the trace. Sliding, double hook trace, the job today. So yeah guys, um, yeah, we're going to close this video off. Stefan is standing there behind the camera. I think I'm going to get him on this side of the camera. <laughs> he wants to have a little word with you guys. How's it guys? I just want to say thank you for all the, all the Zuluk. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> See, yeah. uh, See now he knows how I feel, eh? <laughs> Going your best Inglikans. <laughs> okay, Stefan, take two. <laughs> Come. <laughs> I get it. Can it do man? How's it guys? I just wanna say thank you. All the Zuluk subscribers that have been supporting still fishing through the couple of years since Zuluk started. Um, just a heads out, there's a lot of stock coming the next couple of weeks. We've been struggling uh, 
a lot of getting stuck into the country with this whole COVID thing. I know there's two containers from Penn coming, new Penn reels coming. Um, there is a huge container from Shimano as well, landing in the next couple of weeks or two. I think by the time you see this video, most of the stock will be a week away. And there's also some some new rods and stuff coming from Assassin. So keep a lookout there. And um, yeah, um, Black Velvet will be back in stock. Whip 8 will be back in stock. Most of the JDB braids are already in stock. So yeah, keep a lookout for, for, for all the new stuff coming. And thanks for the support. Thank you, Sifa. Well, thanks for your support on the channel as well. And guys, um, if you're new to the channel, and this is the first time that you've seen Stefan, um, Stefan is the owner of Stoll Fishing and Stoll Buy. Um, they've got great service. They've got everything that you need to stack to stock in, in your tackle bag. That's where I purchase all my fishing gear, all my tackle, braid, everything from Stoll Fishing. They have a great online shop with excellent service. That link will be down in the description, so go and check Easy. it out. Easy, stollfishing.com, 1L. Let me cut it off. <laughs> Easy, stillfishing.com with one L. Yeah, so, but anyway, like I said, that link will be down in the description. And while you're there, grab yourself some Zulu merchandise. I really appreciate that. Cheers, guys. See you later. Life happened and we need to attend other things, so we can't fish any longer. How's it? Hey! <laughs> cut! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs>